So for this question then, we've got to show that sigma are going from r equals 1 to 16 of this expression here equals 131,798. So how do we do this? Well, let's start with copying down the question. And what I'd want to do next is expand this across these three terms. If we do that, then we've got this result here. OK, the summation are going from 1 to 16 of the 3. Notice how on the second term I have pulled out that constant 5. OK, from here, 5 times the summation of just r going from 1 to 16. And then I've got the last term, the summation of r going from 1 to 16 of 2 to the power r. So what have we got here? Well, with the first term here, I've got 3 repeatedly added 16 times. 16 lots of 3 then being added. When it comes to this next term, if I break this out, we've got 5 times all of and r goes from 1 to 16. So when r is 1, we've got 1. When r is 2, we add 2. When r is 3, we add 3 and so on. And this is just going to go up all the way to the last term where we add 16. And on this last term here, we've got to add 2 to the power 1 when r is 1, 2 to the power 1 plus when r is 2, 2 to the power 2 and so on, 2 to the power 3 plus all the way up to when r is 16. So that's adding 2 to the power 16. Well, we know that 16 times 3, that's easy, that's 48. So we'll just do that. Now here we've got 5 times the sum of all of these terms in the bracket. 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. all the way up to 16. Now what I notice here, this is an arithmetic progression. Or an arithmetic series actually, because we're adding terms where we've got a common difference of 1. OK, we add 1 to each term. First term is 1 and the number of terms is 16. So you should be familiar with the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. If not, do check out my videos on this. So according to the formula, it's n over 2. So that's going to be 16 over 2. I know that's 8, but I'm just going to show the working here. I'll put a square bracket there. It's twice the first term. 2 times the 1, which is the first term, OK, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. n is 16, take away 1, that's going to be 15. The common difference is 1. We're adding 1 to each term. OK, so there's our summation for the arithmetic series there in the bracket. Now, when it comes to this next bracket, should recognize this as a geometric progression. We're continually multiplying by the same value, 2. And the sum of a geometric series, you should also be familiar with this. Sn is equal to the first term a times the common ratio r to the power n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. So if we fill in our values for that, we have got the first term, which is 2. OK, times r to the power n, that common ratio r is 2 as well. We're multiplying each term by a uh, value of 2. So it's 2 to the power 16, r to the power n, minus 1, and that's all divided by r minus 1. 2 minus 1, which is 1 there. OK, so just a question of working these out. We've got 48 then as the first term. If you work this out, we've got 2 here plus 15, that's 17. Multiply it with the 8 and you should find you get 680 when you finish multiplying with the 5. So that's 680. And if you work this out on your calculator, you'll end up with 131,070. And if you add all of these three terms together, you end up with the result we've got to show, 131,798. All right, so I hope that's given you some idea how to do that, if it's causing any problems.